Pokey Koki, here's the room tour of cabin 15515. One of the corner balcony cabins, an extra large balcony. So just come in, it's a little bit messy. Blame this one here, the rascal. So as you can see, there's a nice sofa for him to text and things on. Um, that comes with a table, It'd be handy in room service. Got the uh, desk and you got a kettle over here. And uh, oh, first, back where you come out of, there's the toilet, but I'll come back to that. So, storage, plenty of storage for both of us. Probably even a third person if we wanted a third person in this cabin, because there's like a third section over here. Oh, and as you can see, you got your life jackets there too. So, yep, yeah, more storage for us. Jeans and underwear and whatnot. Banana costumes, who knows. So there's the beds. They're very close together. They're meant to be twin. That's one of my only criticisms of this room. It's, as you can see, we've got a bedside cabinet each. Um, they're that close together, they could, they might as well just be one big bed. <laughs> There's um, control, uh, to control the lights over there by my side. And by Ben's is an extra um, sock put, um, plug in for your uh, phones and whatnot. But we went past uh, the kettle and whatnot. That chest set doesn't come in the room, it's Ben's. Um, so the kettle and the tea and coffee facilities. So you got a couple of cups, some glasses. I've been using my Di Serrano. And a, a naughty rascal's left his tissue there. That's probably me, who knows. I'll clean up the room in a bit. And then, yep, so milks. Biscuits, teas. And sugar. Oh yeah, and there we are. Coffees underneath the biscuit, that's good. Well, you can get coffees anywhere on the ship anyway. But, uh, yeah. Alright, so, and then obviously there's the huge balcony. A nice view of the Northern Sea. Looks lovely. I'll pop out there in a sec. Come back to the toilets as promised. Okay, I'll just quickly put the card in for the lights. So yep, yeah, that's another thing to know. You have to put your card in here so that the lights work. And voila. Okay, so a nice shower. Nice case rather than curtains. Put the towel mat down. Nice, uh, nice floor and woodwork. Nice sink in that. Plenty of storage as well. As you can see, I've got more stuff on the top there. Um, it's the toilet for your lovely cheeks. And the shower's nice too, it comes with some shampoo um, and body wash. And it's got good pressure and good temperature as well. So, because I used it yesterday, there's some hand soap. Okay, I'll show you the balcony, which I filmed separately. Also, it's a nice uh, size TV screen with additional storage below. And uh, what do you know? There's a Star Wars book Ben's left there too. It's like he's discreetly marked everywhere as his. <laughs> and then some nice decor above, some mirrors. And also, I like the what's above the sofa actually as well. Yeah, pretty cool, isn't it, Benji? Give us a thumbs up. There you go. So here's the big balcony. I've shown it a little bit yesterday too. A lovely sunrise on our sea day, the first full day. 
And this is a voiceover because it was early, so I didn't want to wake the neighbours or anything. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention about the room and show is there is a mini fridge in there, which is decent size. You know, it's enough to put a few drinks in and a couple of snacks or whatever. Like if you're one of those people that keep your chocolate cold. Just at the Horizon Buffet for Bricky. Nice breakfast with a view. Just a heads up, the buffet gets very busy in Iona. It was quiet when I went at 7am, so... We spent a lot of the day trying out the pools and the hot tubs. The weather was beautiful and perfect for us, so it was nice, enjoying it. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that up there, the top one is our corner balcony. And we're just on the promenade with Benji. Here we are at the Infinity Bar after a good swim. Afterwards we went to the Glass House on Deck 7 and in the atrium and we got some nice window seats so dinner with a view, lovely jubbly. So here we got elk, beef and venison as a little starter. Seafood trio, looks really nice. Garlic tiger prawns there, lobster mac and cheese, and battered soft shell crab, some kind of sauce, very nice. Later on in the day we went for some more food for black tie night at the Epicurean, so this is a lovely place. I had scallops for starter and then steak for main as you can see. With um, gravy, I think that's beef gravy, and it, it was lovely. And for dessert, I had the chocolate Jaffa cake, and it was a wonderful evening. <laughs>